see it now. Oh, we see it now. Looks like we are live. Good morning, you guys, and welcome to our second edition of Be Fit Live. If you can hear us and you see us, let us know where you're watching from. And if you have any questions for our Be Fit Ambassador, Roy Montez, or Senior Master Sergeant, Sonia Berry, they are both here with us again, and they will be taking you through a live at-home workout. I will turn it over to you, Roy. Fantastic. Once again, uh, it's great to be back. I know last week or, or the week prior, we had a great session, session with Sergeant Barry, and we're looking to build on that week. Uh, Sergeant Barry, how are you doing? Yeah, good, good. All right, Sorry. good to see you again. Fantastic. Welcome back. So this week, we're going to start off with, again, building on last week. Uh, we're going to work with a, a couple of compound movements that are working multiple muscle groups at the same time uh, while we are uh, going through this exercise. So this workout will consist of a 40 second on a, a workout, 40 second on exercise, a 20 second on uh, set, and there's going to be four sets throughout this workout. So four exercises. So we're going to start off with a lateral bound, lateral bounds, which which means we're going to go uh, left to right, really working this uh, left to right plane. We're going to go into a burpee, nothing too aggressive. Our chest will not hit the deck. We'll stop at a high plank, and then we'll explode and bounce back up, and that'll be one rep. We'll go into squat jumps, which is your, again, building on last week or the week prior. Uh, we'll go down into a squat, and then we are just going to explode up through our heels, off the balls of our toes and into the air for the squat jump. And the last set will be a lateral bear crawl. So lateral bear crawl is going to be a high plank position. You're gonna hold this position, but you're gonna tuck your knees in almost like you're sitting in a 90 degree. Your hands will be under your elbows, or I'm sorry, your hands will be under your shoulders and you're going to walk about three steps to your right and or three steps to your left. And that'll be for 40 seconds of work. And that'll be one round and we're gonna do four rounds in total, one minute rest in between each round. That'll allow questions or comments uh, from Leah and team and we'll get uh, started. So let me start here. Let me get this ready actually. Let's start with dynamic stretching again. So instead of some, instead of static stretching where we're going to uh, be basically stretching uh, traditionally, we're gonna start with dynamic stretching, which allows us to, again, stretch out multiple muscle groups within uh, each exercise. So let's start with knees to chest, okay? Knees to chest, right knee up. Let's grab our knee and really squeeze our knee to our chest here, okay? Opening up our hips. And really squeezing our hip flexors here. Really getting them nice and loose. Good stretches here. Two more. And we're gonna go into hip circles next. Right leg. Let's really focus in on opening up those hips. Three, four, there you go. All right, and five. And now we'll switch and go the opposite direction. So outside in, two, three, there you go, four, five, all right. Let's move into some arm circles here. So arms straight out. We'll start off small rotations, small rotations, and we'll, we'll make our way to a large rotation here. Let's loosen up our shoulders, get some blood flow going to our body here. Nice and big. Nice. 
three, two, one, and let's reverse here. Nice and small. And we'll really work on extending all the way out to larger circles here. Good, good. And good. All right. Let's move into a squat. One of my personal favorites here, Sergeant Barry. We want to get into a squat position. Feet shorter width apart. Now, depending on our flexibility here, we're going to reach down. We're going to grab our toes here. And we are going to squat down all the while making sure our chest, our head are up and in a neutral position. And then raise back up with your hands still under our toes. Nice and smooth. Down, up down, up, to really feel this stretch, opening up our hips, our glutes, our inner thighs here, our hamstrings. You'll feel that stretch at the top. We'll do three more of these. Two, one, good. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go into, let's go into some um, high knees here. Let's get our heart rate up. Seven, eight. All right, let's go to some butt kicks here. Good, good, good. All right, how are we feeling? Nice and warm? Yeah, my heart rate's up. <laughs> I really like that squat stretch. I've never done that before. Oh, good, good. Yes, one of my personal favorites. Absolute favorites. All right. Let's, uh, let me set this timer here and let's get into some work. Again, 40 minutes, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four sets, four exercises, four rounds, lateral bounds, two second hold on the left, two second hold on the right. In 10 seconds, we'll begin. Five, four, three, and let's begin. Nice lateral bounds. What we want to focus on here is really shifting our momentum, shifting our weight from left to right, exploding off of that opposite leg. All the while, your arms are carrying your momentum to the opposite side. It helps a lot with stabilization. It really forces you to slow down and think about the exercise as a purpose. You'll feel this in your adductors. Five more seconds. Your quads, your glute mid, and time. All right, 20 seconds of rest here, Sergeant Barry. Next up, we're going to be our burpee. 10 more seconds. How are you feeling? Good. That actually takes a little balance. My stop, I'm going well over. Exactly. All right, here's our burpee in three, two, one. All right, let's go. We're stopping into a high plank and exploding up to a standing position. You wanna reach down with your hands in between your legs, float up, nice and controlled here. It's all about going at your own pace for 40 seconds of work. Your pace is faster, go free and explode. Explode up. Eight more seconds. There we go. Three, two, one. Get that last one. All right. 20 seconds of rest here. Okay, Roy, quick question for you. So uh, yes, some people some people do a push-up at the end of the burpee. Is that um is that something you recommend or you I, it Correct. didn't look like you were doing the push-up there? Right, right. We were holding off on the push-up. Let's go air squats now. So the push-up, uh, depending on your flexibility, depending on your uh, advanced physical fitness abilities here, you can add the push-up to the end to really progress the burpee. You can also add a jump to the end as soon as you explode up. Okay. Now, since we're doing air squats to follow that, decide to hold off on the air squat on the jump. Sure thing. <laughs> 
10 more seconds here, Sergeant Barry. Air squats, exploding up. Throw your heels here. And time, 20 seconds. We've earned 20 seconds of rest here. So while you're on break, I just wanna share, you have people watching from all over, um, McAllen, Texas, Kansas City, Shaw Air Force Base, Dayton, Ohio, uh, and even Puerto Rico. Lateral bear cross next. Hi, welcome guys. Lateral bear cross here. We're gonna go into a high plank, tuck our knees, tabletop position. For 30 seconds, we'll lateral crawl to our right. Depending on your space, you're gonna lateral crawl to your left. Welcome everybody, thanks for tuning in. Be fit live here. It's great to see so many people joining us. There you go. I've never done any other. <laughs> All right, we've earned ourselves a minute of rest here. You're doing great, Sergeant Barry. You you've never done some of these workouts, but you're you're doing or these movements, and you're doing great. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> What's great about these movements is that they can be as challenging as you make them, or they can be as simplified and a little less hard as you make them. So if you wanted to add resistance bands, you can add dumbbells to each one of these movements, and they will. They will definitely keep you, keep you moving. So people, uh, Roy, people can modify it as they need um, depending on their fitness level. Is that, I guess that's what you're. Correct. Yes, ma'am. Each, each one of these movements can be uh, regressed to a lower, uh, a lower amount of, of, of work here. So every, every one of them can be altered. Excellent. Lateral balance here, Sergeant Barry. 40 seconds of work here. And again, Leah, if we wanted to uh, regress this, this movement here, we can just work on nice short movements here. Really focusing on balance, balancing on one leg here and stabilization. We wanna always keep our core nice and tight, keep our chest, Upright, head in a neutral position here. And time. Feel it. Burpee up next. Our favorites are burpees here. Five more seconds. And Leah, if we wanted to add a push up at the end, we can do that here. No pressure, Roy, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. There we go. I'm sitting here from a desk thinking that a push-up is a good idea, so. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem. There we go. 20 more seconds. Resistance band wants to work out. Ten more seconds here. Five, four, and time. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds of rest. Good work. Twenty seconds goes fast. <laughs> they really do. Three <laughs> seconds, not so much. Squat jumps in two, one. And here we go. Nice. Let's try and be nice and light on our feet here. All the way down. Let's sit back in that chair and explode up. Modified version, Leah. If you're just at the squat position here, this is where we are. This is comfort for us. This is where we are. If you can start off just coming down at a 45 or less than that, that's fine. Two more seconds. Good, thank you. Thank you for that. And I'm sure time. that, I'm sure there are folks watching who, um, you know, wanna know about these modifications. Exactly, exactly. 
Okay, lateral bear crawls are up next. In three, two, let's get down there. One, okay, let's begin 40 seconds of work here. Let's keep our, our back end nice and, nice and low, nice and controlled movements here. This is really a progression to the high plank. If you are planking and you're thinking maybe it's a little too easy, let's go ahead and tuck those knees in. Hands over our shoulders, knees over our, under our hips. Lateral cross to our left and our right. Three, two, one, and time. Two rounds done. Just like that. <laughs> We've earned some water here. Leah, I picked up this smart water the other day from my express antioxidant version of a smart water here. <laughs> really good. I like that one, the antioxidant <laughs> version. I like it. Exactly. Really helps with my recovery, especially during my long runs here. Five more seconds here, Sergeant Barry. Lateral bounds in three, two, one. Here we go. Nice and controlled here. Feeling in our adductors again. You're incorporating your, your glutes, your gluteus men. Your core is gonna be stabilized to help with balancing. 15 more seconds. Our chest is up, our head in a neutral position here. And our arms helping to carry our momentum. There we go, two, one, time. Good work, good work. 20 seconds here. Burpees are up next. Here we go, burpees in three, two, one. Let's work. Nice. Floating out, down if you choose. Legs are tucking underneath our body, standing up from a squat position. Just like this. There we go. Three, two, and time. There we go. Good work, good work. Squat Roy, is this, neck. is this round three for you guys? This is round three for us. Okay, good. So everybody watching, if you're just joining us, we have BFIT Ambassador Roy Montez here with Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry, and they are going through an at-home workout. Minimal equipment needed, all uh, body weight movements. That is correct, Leah. So these are movements just with our body weight that we can do at home or in the gym. But more than likely, we'll tackle these at home. Squat jumps for us with 12 more seconds on the clock left to work. Nice, good exploding up here. Balance, working on our stabilization. Two, one, and time. All right. Sergeant Barry, how are we doing? I'm holding up, Roy. All right, all right. Last set for this three round, for this third round here. Lateral bear crawl here. Let's get down in three, two, one, and let's work.
Again, Leah, if this movement is too challenging, you can go back to a high plank position and hold for our 40 seconds. You can go down to our elbows and hold that plank, low plank for 40 seconds. If we're here on our knees, we can hold it here for 40 seconds. And we're coming up to five seconds, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, we earned ourselves a minute. <laughs> good work, good work. Okay, I also want to call out to everybody tuning in. If this is your first time to watch the BFIT Live, um, this is actually our second one. Roy and Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry did a workout last Wednesday. No, let me back up. Week before last <laughs> on Wednesday. And we'll put a link in the comments if you want to go back and check that one out. There were some different movements, different workouts. You don't want to miss that one. Awesome, and that was a great workout. So highly encourage everyone to go check out that workout from the other week. Again, we're building off of this week, building off of those movements. In three, two, one, we're gonna go into a lateral bound. And here we go, Sergeant Barry, lateral bounds with a two second hold. Last round, right? Last round. Last round here. Let's work on control, stabilization, transferring our weight and our momentum from our left leg to our right leg. This will help a lot with a change in direction when you're running. We don't always run front to back, forward to backward. Three more seconds. And time. Good work. We should really feel that on there. The side of our hips here, the outside of our thighs. Okay, five more seconds. Let's go into a burpee here. Three, two, one. Let's work. There we go. Nice and controlled movements. All the way down. Last Holding few the burpees. Position. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds worth. Nice. Two, one, and time. Way to go, way to go. Nice. <sighs> more seconds and squat jumps are up next for everybody watching try these exercises at home and let us know how you do comment below there we go nice we get to that bottom incorporate all of that lower body explode up Again, chest nice in front, head in a neutral position, not too far down, not too far up. That's right, five more seconds. Push through, three, two, one, and time. Those aren't easy. Good work, good work. Roy, I also Last want to step. share a little bit of information about the community hub where you have plenty of content, other, um, other workouts, other videos, uh, lots of good stuff on the community hub that you can check out. <laughs> That's right, Leah. We have a wealth of information on our community hub. You can find it at shopmyexchange.com forward slash bfit shopmyexchange.com forward slash bfit. We have nutrition, additional at-home workouts, workouts with a partner, and much, much more. Almost here. 
Seven more seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and time. Good work. Yeah. Nice and sweet. Way to go, Sergeant Barry. <laughs> and Leah, that's just under 20 minutes. 20 minutes of work here, outdoor or indoor at home. It doesn't take much time to break a sweat here. Not at all. The amount of effort that you put in is what you will get right back out. Sergeant Barry, how you doing? Good, yeah. Definitely feel the burn today, Roy. <laughs> so we just, we just bumped up the exercise from the last one, just a little bit, yes? Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> yes, the lateral bounds are great for, again, working on stability and balance. Really working that three plane of movement here to where you're shuffling from left to right. We may, we may not always be moving in a front to back situation. If we have to run left, if we have to run light, pivot nice and quick, whether it's in sports, whether uh, in athletics or whether you're on the field, uh, whatever the case may be, if we need to go left to right, these are great, um, this is a great exercise to build up on that stability, on that balance and really working your adductors here to move from left to right. And uh, the burpee, everyone's favorite, if you don't like them, they are one of those workouts that the more you do, the more you'll find that it gets easier, but it's an all around total body workout for that one movement, uh, the burpee. <laughs> it's not exactly my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am. I don't think okay. I've ever heard someone say it's their favorite before. <laughs> <laughs> right. And again, if you bumped up the speed, if you, if you uh, incorporated dumbbells into that movement, you could imagine how much more intense uh, and how much more uh, ta taxing on the body it would be for you, uh, the burpee. So, uh, but then moving right into that jump squat, um, right there for speed, that, that little extra momentum to power you up and up into that jump, you really feel those fast switching muscle fibers work there. And that's what you're thinking of. Just, uh, just as if you were sprinting versus a jog, the jog, you're gonna, you're gonna not incorporate so much of those fast switching muscles, but a slower twitch. And so when you add in that acceleration, that power into that squat jump, you're really activating those fast switching muscle fibers and that, that'll help with speed. That'll help with uh, a longer jumps and, and power movements of that nature. And then lastly, the bear crawl. Uh, that's something I, I started to incorporate more into because it's just, again, it's a little more of a progression into a high plank. So if you can get your legs tucked under and if you can move from left to right or even front to back, if you bear crawl from front, bear crawl back, it's really working on your core stabilization, your obliques. You're gonna be pulling from your glutes, all of your posterior chain, your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves. You'll feel it down there as well as your back on trying to stabilize from left to right. Uh, so again, that's, that's a, a progression into that high plank that you can utilize, especially if we've been sitting for a long period of time, um, if we're working from home, if, if we're driving for longer periods than we normally are. Uh, this is these all of these exercises are a great way to get up to get moving and and to really work on our stabilization a lot of it in our core and and you'll you'll see the results you'll see the results if you if you take on some of these exercises all good stuff roy thanks for clarifying too on the bear crawls because sure. i was wondering about that you were going side to side and i've seen bear crawls front to back so thanks for clarifying Correct. that sure yes ma'am I know, I, and Leah, I know you mentioned uh, Shop My Exchange uh, again uh, on the hub. Uh, you can find us at www.shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit. And if you visit there, you'll see again a wealth of information from nutrition where we highlight our food court options in our exchange. We have more than uh, 1,700 restaurants that are offering 
better for you options there. So if you surf the menu at our exchange, uh, food courts, mini malls, uh, troop stores, uh, shop ads, if, if you go to any one of those locations and you find a food court of ours, a restaurant rather, look, look and surf for those uh, better for you options at our exchange uh, locations. Uh, you can also find uh, at our express stores and main stores, but our healthier choices program where we make it nice and easy for us to find better for you and healthier choice items within our express. If you're walking down the aisles on the express, look for these green healthier choice tags where they have met standards that are healthier for you to consume. Again, everything is building upon uh, fitness uh, holistically with nutrition. Every little bit counts and every little bit can be a step forward into meeting your goals, whichever they may be, but they can help you get there. Excellent. Yep. And I have dropped that link into the comments. So if Perfect. you want to go check that out later, it's there and it's pinned. It'll be the first comment you see. Fantastic. And our last week's, uh, the week fires workout is in uh, that link as well. So it'll be the first thing you see once you visit. Good stuff. So if you're watching and you have any final questions for Roy or for Sergeant Barry, let us know and we'll get those read out. If not, um, any final words from, from you guys, Roy and Sergeant Barry? I, I, again, it's, it's, it's such an uh, amazing experience to share uh, these exercises with you all. If you take away one or two um, of these exercises, if you try them, let us know in the comments below. Uh, we're, we're looking to really move our BFIT community forward. And again, we're, we're looking at all of the uh, positives that, that can come into staying active, uh, staying mission ready to be resilient, to be ready uh, whenever, uh, whenever we are needed. So uh, again, thank you all for, for joining myself and our exchange family. Uh, Sergeant Barry, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you. Um, and I just want to echo, I definitely learned some new things today. I think sometimes I get in my comfort zone and I do what I know it works. And then I kind of get lazy because I don't have anyone on the other side checking my form. So it's just a great way, great way to stay active. So thank you. And thank you to our viewers. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Thank you, Thanks for joining us, Sergeant Barry. We appreciate you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. Uh, and Leah, I was just going to thank uh, all of our service members all of our soldiers and airmen out there. Uh, thank you all for your service. Thank you for continuing uh, to, to work hard and please stay safe. Excellent. Bye you guys. All right, bye. Bye everyone.